In this session, um, I'll show how to run uh, network services benchmarking using Yardstick in a virtual environment. So for the purpose of this, we will use uh, Arna's uh, development um, instance on an Intel server. So the first step involved is to deploy uh, OpenStack. So for that, we use uh, OPNFE using the Apex installer. Um, the installation takes about about an hour and a half. Um, so right now it's already installed on this. So I will just show the uh, the deployment. So this is the command that was used to deploy OpenStack. The virtual CPUs are 16 and uh, the RAM is 32 GB. And we use no SDN, no feature um, YAML for installation. So you can see the, the deployment, the under cloud, bare metal zero, bare metal one. So that's the open stack. You can also log into the undercloud to look at the credentials. So this shows the credentials uh, for open stack. <coughs> The admin uh, password is here and the auth URL to access um, the horizon is, uh, is, is shown here. So the OpenStack is deployed now. You can also log into the horizon dashboard. This is the Horizon dashboard. So you can see that the number of vCPUs are 16 and the memory is 32 GB. And this is the, the IP address of uh, you know where the Horizon is accessible. The next step is to start the Yardstick. So for that, we use a Ubuntu instance that's running inside this. So we log into this instance, which is .231. So the OpenStack credentials file needs to be copied here. So this is the OpenStack credentials files that we just saw on the under cloud. So that's copied here. Now the Yardstick is uh, checked out here in home Arna. So this is checked out from the, from the Git repository. The next step is to run the setup, which sets up the Yardstick and also starts the Yardstick container to run the test. So this command is takes about an hour to complete. 
So it's already run here. And this needs to be run as a sudo user. So this is the command that was run to set up the yardstick. <coughs> so you can see that the yardstick container is, is running. So this is the yardstick container where the test can be started from. So first you need to log into the container and start a shell. So since the container is already running, just run in docker exec with a, with a bash shell. So before starting the test, uh, one of the environment variables need to be set. and one of the configuration files need to be copied. So this step is already done. So one of the things to notice is that the setup creates a cloud image called Yardstick Sample VNFs. So if you go to the Horizon dashboard, you can see the, the image. So Yardstick Sample VNFs. So this is the image that contains all of the utilities required, libraries and utilities required to run the VNFs. So there are a couple of other changes that need to be done in order to run these tests in a virtual environment. So this is to increase the timeout and the retry intervals. Since the VMs take longer time to boot up in a virtual instance these changes are required and these are not required when you are running it on a real hardware so the last step is to actually run the test so for the purpose of this we are using uh, the test called l2 forwarder so there is there are two vnfs there is a traffic generator and a l2 forwarder and the traffic generator generates the traffic and then to forwarder forwards it back to the traffic generator and the and the traffic performance is measured so let's start the test So the test is uh, in the VNF samples directory, TC proc heat context L2 forward. So the test is started. This takes about uh, four to five minutes to complete. In the meantime, you can look at the resources that are required. So this creates a stack which contains all of the resources required. So you can see that the stack creation is in progress. So these are the resources required for running the test. So there is a Nova server, and in fact two of them, and then the ports and the networks. You can also see that 
there are a couple of uh, instances so one of them is a vnf that runs the the l2 forwarding test and the other one is a traffic generator So you can see that the stack creation is still in progress. So once the VMs are created, it is a search into the VMs to start the test. So you can see the progress also on the VMs. So both the VMs are booted now and the tests are in progress. So both the VMs run uh, Prox utility, which is based on the DPDK, and it's run in uh, different modes. So one of the modes is to generate traffic, the other mode is to do L2 forwarding processing. you might see some errors which you can ignore for now so once the tests are done it stops the the VMs So the test is uh, successful and now it's undeploying the context. So both the VMs are brought down. So you can see that the prox process is run on both of the VMs in different modes. Yeah, the test completed now. So you can look at the, the output. So this is the text output which shows all of the parameters of the test as well as the results and finally the test is, uh, is a pass the results can also be viewed on grafana by configuring 
the inflex db and grafana and that's not shown in this so this completes one successful run of the the vnfs to show the performance of uh, nsp